Okay, so welcome to this IELTS speaking practice video. In this video, I'm going to be looking at some IELTS questions all about hometowns. Now, this is a fairly common question that comes along in the IELTS exam. It also goes along with towns more generally, which I'm going to make another video about very, very soon. So all I'm going to do in this video is I'm going to answer some of these questions if you check the link in the description, you'll be able to find a list of vocabulary related to this topic that you can use to improve your speaking for the IELTS exam. I was born in London, but the town I call my hometown is a place called Plymouth, which is in the southwest of England. I try to visit my hometown as often as possible. Usually it's once every two months. However, sometimes I've lived abroad and that's meant I might only be able to make it home once a year or maybe once every two years. Uh, but I'm always happier when I can return home every few months. My hometown has a historical area called the Barbican and it has cobbled streets and lots of old shops. And I really love to go for a walk around there because it shows you what the city was like 200 years ago. And so if someone was visiting, I would take them for a walk there. There's some very good fish and chip shops. I think maybe some of the best fish and chips in England are from Plymouth. Uh, there's also a few historic sites around there I would take them to visit. And then after that, I would take them for a walk up past the sea. And uh, you can see all across the sea, um, lots of boats coming and going in the harbour. And it's a really beautiful place to watch the sunset as well. My hometown is quite famous for having good fish. Um, I don't know if there are any special dishes that are only related to the one city, but in terms of ta dishes that are related to the area more broadly, there's one called Stargazy Pie, which is quite interesting, uh, which is a pie. And inside the pie, you have fish with their heads kind of popping up. Um, and they're supposed to look like they are out looking out of the pie up into the sky so they can see the stars. It sounds a little bit strange, but it's a quite tasty dish and it's fairly unique. I don't know anywhere else that has a pie with fish heads popping out of the top. For me, the worst thing about my hometown is it's very far from the rest of England. It's on a long peninsula. We're quite far down the peninsula and it takes quite a while to get anywhere from Plymouth. So when I grew up, um, I hadn't visited much of England. Uh, it was only really after I went to university that I got to see a lot of different places in England, simply because I just lived so far from most of it. The best thing about my hometown is it's quite a small city. So if you want to get out of town, it's really easy to visit the countryside from where I am. And we also have lots of incredibly beautiful small villages nearby that you can visit. And for me, as someone who loves cycling, I always love to cycle from village to village and it doesn't take me too long. I don't have to cycle too far to go and see lots of incredibly beautiful sites, lots of lovely villages and some great coastlines and natural beauties as well. If I could change anything about my hometown, it would be related to what I was talking about before with it being so far. Obviously, it's hard to move a city, but I would love my hometown if we had a high speed rail connection to London. Uh, I think if we had a high speed rail connection, we could get to London in maybe an hour and a half. But at the moment, it takes usually three and a half, four hours to get to London. So if there was high speed rail, I would be so happy. And I'd also be able to visit much more often, which would make me happier as well. My hometown is a place called Plymouth, which is in the southwest of England in a county called Devon. Now, Devon is uh, quite a famous county. I think it's the largest county in England um, and it is a very beautiful place. Um, Plymouth itself is uh, famous for its naval history. So we have um, a famous seafarer called Sir Francis Drake who uh, lived in Plymouth for a long time. Um, and uh, he was won some famous battles and traveled around the world and did lots of things. Um, also, the Pilgrim Fathers left for America from England, which is quite famous, uh, especially when Americans come to Plymouth. They love to find out more about this and visit where they left from. Um, we also have a massive dockyard there. Lots of submarines and ships are based in Plymouth. So I think that's probably what we're best known for. 
The climate in Plymouth, I would say, is some of the best climate in the UK. In summer, it's often very hot and sunny. Um, and in winter, it's not too hot, but it's uh, it's still mild. It very rarely snows. It might have snowed once in my lifetime when I've been in Plymouth. Um, and so, yes, the weather is usually pretty good all year round. It doesn't rain too much like it does in some places in England. So the climate is quite good. So my opinion of my hometown is fairly positive, I think. It's a bit distant from everywhere else in the UK, but I absolutely love the natural scenery. I love um, being able to visit lots of small villages nearby without uh, too much trouble. And um, I just love that it's a historic town that's not too big and has great food, great views and very nice people as well. For me personally, I think it's better to grow up in a big city because you have access to so many different things that you um, really give you more possibilities in your life. Uh, so, for example, if you grew up um, very far into the countryside, there might not be as much access to things like live music and theatre. Uh, like you might have in a large city. So for me, if I was growing up, I would like to live in the city, but I would also want to be able to visit the countryside quite easily. Uh, maybe if the city had very good train links to the countryside, or if my parents drove, I could visit the countryside all the time, because I think you get a lot from visiting the countryside as well. But if you grew up in the city, you might decide you love theatre and become an actor, or you might decide you love going to uh, gigs, and um, that might become something that you become very passionate about growing up. So for me personally, the city is best. One significant area where where you grew up can change your personality might be how your pace of life is. So I've lived in some quite large cities and generally I would say that people in those cities are very focused on uh, fast pace of life. They really don't like taking things slow. Um, whereas when I've been to play smaller cities or even towns and villages, people are a little bit more relaxed. Um, I don't know which of these is best. I think it's quite good to be a little bit more relaxed, a little bit more slow paced. But I think where you grow up can definitely have an impact on that. I don't know that every parent decides on where to live based on where the best place to raise children is. But one of the big things people care about is education. Uh, so some towns might be famous for having lots of good schools in and sometimes might have less access to education. So if I were a parent, that is one thing I would definitely want to look at because I think having a good education can be transformative for children. And so living in a city where there are lots of uh, good schools around or even a village or a town that has a lot of good schools, uh, that might be a big deciding factor for me. Uh, if I was considering where I wanted to raise a child. That's a tricky question. It depends a little bit on which town you're talking about. Uh, so I have a lot of family that come from a town called Manchester or a city called Manchester in England. And Manchester is quite famous for having a very strong musical tradition. And so when I talk to my relatives who are from there, they will often mention famous bands that have come from that city. Uh, I also have relatives from Liverpool and they're very proud of the Beatles. Um, my family members from those two cities, they also have very good football teams. So I think that's another example of something that might make you proud of your hometown. If you grow up supporting a team like Liverpool who are very successful, I think that would make you really proud of where you come from. It would make you feel very attached to where you come from. And I think it will make you feel very attached to the people around you who feel the same way about that team or about that music or whatever it is specifically that's great about your town that you really, really love. Plymouth has changed massively over the last 30 years. I guess I wasn't there 30 years ago, but I've seen lots of pictures of it. 
they have completely redeveloped the city center. It used to be a little bit drab. It was all kind of post-war architecture, which uh, was lots of concrete. And now we have a very nice new mall. Um, the area around the seafront has been redeveloped a bit as well. So it's really regenerated the city and brought a lot of life back to the city. And so I think the changes have been huge in those terms. I think the city's also become a lot richer over that time as well. Uh, you kind of see a wider range of restaurants and things that have come along with that. So yes, massive changes in my hometown since uh, 30 years ago. So if you enjoy this video, do make sure you check out the link in the description where you can find lots of resources related to what you've just learned about. And also don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel so that you can get more of these topic videos, more of these vocabulary videos, and you can really take the next step with improving your IELTS.